Hello there, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mr. Mwangi. In this video, I'll take you through application of LCM and GCD using various questions. If you're new, kindly hit that subscription button. You can uh, like, share, or even comment. So, we'll start with uh, using prime factorization method find the GCD and LCM of 126, 84, and 441. So we are supposed to factorize each and every number. So we start with 126. The factors of 126 is 2 by 2 or by 3 squared by 7 power 1. The factors of 84 is 2 squared by 3 by 7 the factors of 441 and 3 squared by 7 to power 2 so we first factorize those numbers as we've done so for gcd what are we going to be looking for so we look for the common factor or the common factors in all the numbers common factors in all the numbers so in the three numbers we look for the common factor in all the numbers and pick the one with the least power so from what you can see which are the common factor in 126 84 441 so we have uh, the common factor uh, if you look at uh, 2 2 is not common in all so which one is common we have 3 3 is common in all the three numbers so we are going to take 3 and consider the one with the least power the one with the least power is to power 1 then the other factor is 7 we have 7 to power 2, 7 to power 1, and to power 1. So the one with the least power is again to power 1. And that will be our GCD, 3 by 7, which is equals to 21. So this is uh, finding the GCD using factorization method. So for LCM, we are going to consider, or we are going to pick all the prime numbers. All the prime numbers all the prime factors that, that appear in all the numbers or that appear in the numbers and consider the one with the highest power pick all the prime factors that appear in the number and consider the one with the or consider those with the highest power so the prime factors we uh, have lined for us in all the three numbers not in all but uh, the prime factor should at least be in one of the number we have the prime factor two three and seven two is a is two of prime factor yes it can be divided by two or by one and itself so we have two by three by seven those are the prime factors we have then we we'll now go back to consider the which is the two or two which is the highest the highest power so two the highest power of two or if you talk of three the highest power of three is two in uh, and the highest power of two is a 2 power 2 that is in 84 when you go to 7 the highest half power is power 2 which is in 441 and that is our lcm so if you feed that to the calculator you'll find the answer to be 17 moving on to the next part when a certain number is divided by 30 45 and 54 there is always a remainder of 21. 
so this is an application of LCM so we are going to find the LCM of the three numbers 30 45 and 54 so by 2 we have 15 45 and 27 so now we have 3 for 5 15 and 9 again by 3 5 5 and 3 3 again 5 5 1 and finally 5 so when you are finding LCM we go for the least a multiple until we exhaust it so the LCM will therefore be 2 by 3 cubed by 5 so multiplying that we get 270 so with this 270 we are going to add 21 because if we divide 270 by 30 by 45 by 54, we would get an exact answer. But now we want a remainder of 21. So we will add 21 to get 291. And 291 is the number which when divided by 30, 45 and 54, there will always a remainder 21. The next question, two bells ring at an interval of 35 and 42 minutes respectively. The bell rings together at 8.48 a.m. Determine the time they ring next. So again, this is an application of LCM. So we are going to determine the LCM of the two numbers or the given numbers. 35 and 42. So we start by 2, which is the least uh, multiple. Then we can't divide by 2 anymore. So we go for 3, 7. And... This should be 35 so because 35 cannot be divided by 3 so it is uh, only 21 by 7 so 5 we get 7 and 7 and then finally by 7 1 1 so therefore the LCM will therefore be 2 by 3 by 5 by 7 so multiplying these out uh, we get 2 by 3 is 6, 6 by 5, that is 30, 30 by 7, we get 21 and a 0 to 10. So, and these are minutes, so we are going to convert these into hours. So, to 10 divided by 60, uh, we get... Uh, these being three 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 over six so three one over three so a third of uh, an hour so we take a third we multiply by 60 to get how many minutes these are we find that these are 20 minutes so the bells will ring together after three hours 20 minutes so therefore we are going to add 8.48, we add 3 hours and 20 minutes. So on adding, we get that the time the two bells ring next together will be at 12.08 and this now will be p.m. 12 8 p.m. Lastly, I want to leave this as an assignment. Try out and see whether you can find the solution. Thank you for watching.